Hi friends, welcome to my video on how to make my new cucumber summer salad. Let's get started. There's the ingredients list. The first thing that I'm going to do is get my marinated carrots out. I marinated them in pickle beet. I really like this brand. It's low in sugar and natural. Here I am cutting the carrots. I like to use my food chopper. It helps all of the vegetables to be evenly cut and I can do little slices like I'm doing this carrot and then after I'm done with that I can switch the blades out but it makes it super easy and it goes really smoothly. After I finish the marinated carrots I go ahead and move on to the cucumber. I like to make the carrots smaller because they're a little bit crunchier and the cucumbers a little bit bigger because they're of a softer consistency so they won't be hard to eat. You'll see that there's going to be quite a bit of cucumber in this recipe, but cucumber is so perfect for summer salads and it's really good for you. I encourage you to watch a video or look up the benefits of cucumber. It's great for several different kinds of diets and it's extremely low on the glycemic index chart. This salad has such beautiful colors and is really aesthetically pleasing to look at. You can see how much time this food chopper is taking away from the prepping of this dish. I did an entire cucumber and a half and all the other vegetables within just a few minutes. And I would have never been able to get the vegetables hand cut and all be uniform in size. It makes it such a pretty salad when you do use the food chopper and it's a lot easier to. It really doesn't matter though if you don't have one. Chopping it yourself is just as good. I just like it to be as pretty as possible. I chopped all the tomatoes and I cut and chop fourth cup of onion with the smaller cutting blade. If I was making this salad just for me, I would have used the big one and double the amount of onions because I love onions, but most people just like a normal amount, so that's what I added today. I would say this recipe makes four to six servings as a side, or two servings if you're having large salads as a main dish. If you're having this as a large dish, it would be perfect with some grilled fish or grilled chicken, but I love it as a way to get more vegetables in on the side. Okay, we're gonna start with the seasonings. I used one small packet of this salad dressing Italian mix. Go ahead and I started with about half of it, not knowing quite how salty it would be, but I ended up at the end mixing in the entire packet. So I would suggest to go ahead and start with the entire packet unless you wanna do low sodium, then start with the half. Next, I add the Italian seasonings. It really adds a good zip to this dish, and I love herbs, so I say the more the merrier. I go ahead and add a good generous amount of cracked pepper. Then I go ahead and add a little bit of the beet juice back in. I saved the beet juice after eating all the beets, and I marinated the carrots for about a week, week and a half. These are my ultimate favorite beets, and they have a really low sugar content, which makes it perfect for the salad. I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything up. I like to be gentle with the salad because you never know how fragile the tomatoes are gonna be. Then I fill up my quart wide mouth ball jar. And I started using ball jars as an alternative to disposable Tupperware. And there we go. The salad's done. Isn't it so pretty? It'll get a little bit redder if you marinate it until the next day. Or you can enjoy it 10 minutes later. Everyone in my family loved this salad. And even my picky eater ate all of it. If you try this recipe, let me know how you liked it. Thanks again for watching, friends.